What is up guys, this is the homie Anthony. From what I've seen in my community post, a lot of you guys said that you wanted more Battlefield videos, so today we are going to be playing Battlefield 5. Now the reason I chose Battlefield 5 is because Battlefield 1 and 4 are dead. Plus the older games are terrible on consoles, so I just chose 5 because that's the most recent one. Plus there's a lot of servers available. I tried to look for servers in Battlefield 1 and 4 and there's barely any. And I really wanted to play Battlefield 4, but there's just no matches available at all, which sucks because I really like Battlefield 4. Alright, uh, don't worry, buddy, I got you. Get out of here. Some things that I do like about Battlefield 5 A, FOV slider on console, that's a big W in my opinion. I think more console games need an FOV slider. Damn it, I was gonna help him out. Okay, someone better kill him. There's a person camping there. I'm going up there. I'm going up there and killing him. There we go. How the heck do you mess up that jump? Okay, that's one. No, I ran out of ammo, dude. Alright, so I know that Battlefield has one more thing to reveal, and that's Hazard Zone. I really wonder what Hazard Zone is. Because they said it's like a, a high-stakes game mode, whatever it is. That guy got destroyed. I know they said it's like a high-stakes game mode. People are saying it's not a BR, but at the same time, it has some mechanics like a BR. They're also saying it's like Escape from Tarkov. I never played Tarkov, but all I know is that Tarkov, you you buy things, right? And Tarkov, okay, there's artillery here. That's not good. If Hazard Zone is going to be a BR, or at least similar to BR, they should make it a free-to-play experience. Just so we can compete with Warzone. Right now, Warzone is kind of dying. Once Activision finally puts in that anti-cheat, then, uh, Battlefield's kind of in trouble. Don't get me wrong, I really hope Battlefield 2042 is successful, and there's a high chance that it will be successful. There's a lot of hype going around, so it makes sense for the game to do well. But at the same time, uh, Call of Duty, I think Call of Duty is still going to be alive, or at least have a big player base, because there's no way you can kill COD. I think COD's gonna be staying for a long time, and uh, we just have to live with it. Even with skill-based matchmaking and all of this other stuff that is in the game, or at least plaguing Call of Duty as a franchise, this is gonna be hard to kill it no matter what. I think Warzone beat out a lot of other games that came out in 2020. It beat out Fall Guys. Fall Guys was only popular for like a week or two. Then there was Valorant. I know Valorant was pretty popular as well, but nowhere near as Warzone. And of course there's Among Us. Among Us was very popular for a long time, but at the moment, no one is really playing Among Us. A lot of people are still talking about Warzone, even though they're not talking a lot of good stuff about Warzone. People are still talking about it in general. And you know what they always say, any publicity is good publicity. Okay, there's one guy. There's a guy up here. Should have executed him. Like, I remember back in 2016 when we had Infinite Warfare versus Battlefield 1. Battlefield 1 had a lot more hype around it, but it still wasn't able to defeat Call of Duty. I don't think Battlefield is able to defeat Call of Duty, but there is another game that might help Battlefield 2042 on its mission to defeat Call of Duty. Actually, I'd say it's two games. And those two games are Splitgate and Halo Infinite. Uh, I think Halo Infinite is by far more hyped and definitely more popular than Splitgate. But Splitgate, out of nowhere, it just got popular. I haven't played Splitgate yet, but I really want to. All I know is that Splitgate is free to play, and it's basically Halo and Portal mixed into one. 
But Splitgate has been getting popular as of recently. I know a lot of COD YouTubers and streamers have been playing Splitgate. And there's been a lot of positive reviews from what I've seen. Like there was a lot of positive feedback and it's in the beta right now. If it's getting good reviews and a lot of people saying it's good in beta form, then the real game is probably going to turn out really good. Since Splitgate is cross-play as well as free-to-play, I think it might be able to go up against Warzone. And there's also Apex Legends. I know a lot of people have been going back to Apex as of recently because they just can't stand Warzone. I don't think any of these games can beat Call of Duty by itself. But since they're all releasing this year, um, Call of Duty is pretty much in trouble at the moment. You got Halo. A lot of people are hyped up for it. Splitgate is getting popular. And Battlefield 2042, so many people are hyped for that game. This year might just hit Call of Duty like really, really, really hard. Like that. Ooh. Get out of here. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh my god, what the heck is even happening? So anyways, back to Battlefield. I've been talking about Warzone and COD and Halo and all that stuff a bit too much. So with Battlefield Portal, I'm really excited for that. I really hope they add Battlefield 4 content to Portal. Because I freaking love Battlefield 4. I mean, Battlefield 3 does have a lot of the same weapons, and uh, Battlefield 3 has a similar style to 4. It's personally my favorite FPS game of all time. Like, I think they're only gonna have two maps at a time with each uh, Battlefield title. Because I know they're gonna add two maps from 1942, two maps from Bad Company, two maps from Battlefield 3. Oh, damn. <laughs> what? The two maps that I think should return in Battlefield 2042 from Battlefield 4. Operation Locker should be one of them. Locker is such a good map. I love Locker so much. When I played Battlefield 4, a lot of my time spent on that game was in Operation Locker. Just because of how chaotic that map is. Locker is like Shipman for Battlefield. Because it's so chaotic and just so dumb. And I love how we're all pushing this one objective as a whole unit. See, this is the stuff that I like about Battlefield. This right here, this is epic. Like, that's the Battlefield charm right there. The only in Battlefield moments. One of the best things in this game. There you go. Got him. And I freaking love the executions in this game. Ooh, the tap fire. Oh, hey buddy. Get out of here. Oh man, the STG is so nice. I love this gun. Dude, what the heck is the health on the tank? That thing is immortal. Love how we're all just squatting up to kill this thing. Okay, that killed one of them. Okay, dude, how many freaking tanks are in there? I wonder how Battlefield 5 would do if this released the same year as COD World War 2. Do you think it would do well? I mean, if they release that trailer the same year as COD World War II's trailer, then there is no way Battlefield was going to beat COD that year. Wait, how successful was this game? In terms of sales and the amount of people playing the game, I don't think it did that well. Don't worry, teammates, I got you. Okay, that's one. Okay, that's two. I got you, teammate. Never mind. Okay, I think we won. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want me to make more Battlefield videos, then definitely leave a like. Subscribe for more content, and it's been the homie Anthony.